So we started with our Passive Confidence 20, which is our top of the line compact speaker, the best cabinet we have, the best tweeter, the best woofer. If we made an active version of that, build our heritage in active speakers, how much performance could we actually get out of that? Normally in an active speaker, you put the amplification inside the speaker box, but that takes up some space in that box. So what we did was look at the speaker stand, say, hey, there's some empty space in here. What if we can put the amplification and control inside that box? The design of the Competence 20A is inherited directly from the passive Competence 20 that is designed and sold with a separate stand that it comes with. That gave us some physical confines to work within and trying to take this rather complicated amplifier and stuff into to that setting was a rather large challenge. There's a lot of benefits to making an active speaker. You know, putting the crossover before the amplifiers means that you can do a lot of things in terms of timing and the filtering that you couldn't do in the analog world. What's interesting is normally in a DSP speaker, the first step you will do is you will convert the incoming signal to whatever sample rate the speaker is running at. So the DSP will have a specific sample rate that might be 192 kilohertz, 96 kilohertz, something like that. Then you adapt the signal to that sample rate. So what we did was different. We adapt the DSP to run at the incoming signal sample rate. So if it's a 44.1 coming in, then the DSP runs at 44. If it's 96 coming in, the DSP runs at 96. That optimizes the performance because we don't have that conversion. That conversion can be quite critical to the sound performance. And it can actually be worse than going analog to digital and back, or digital to analog and back. People are very afraid of those analog to digital conversions. But actually digital to digital done bad can be a lot worse than going from between digital and analog world. One of the challenges has been to try to keep it looking simple, even though it's rather complicated, right? Usually on the amplifier, everything is on one or two PCBs where we are able to structure the inputs and the different switches and stuff. But working within the confines of this stand, everything had to be angled a little bit and moved out the internal constructions of it is rather complicated. Pascal is a Danish company that we work together with. The power amplifiers are from Pascal. The input section and the DSP section and all of that is designed by us specifically for this speaker. So there's a lot of things we can do in here that are uniquely tailored to this product. That's one of the benefits of doing a fully active system, that you can really optimize things together. It consists of, uh, on top, an Isotar 3 tweeter. So the woofer is an 18 centimeter version of our MSP woofers. MSP is magnesium silicate polymer. This one has a very powerful neodymium magnet. Part of the reason to use the neodymium magnet is not just because of the power in the magnet, it's to make the profile of the magnet system slimmer. So we have a very slim cabinet. If you used a ferrite magnet, it would actually take up too much space in the cabinet. You wouldn't have enough airflow around the driver. So if you compare the passive and the active versions, the two woofers are different. It's not actually a better version. So because we are manufacturing things ourselves, we can optimize these small details and make something that's tailor-made for this product. Another advantage of the active speakers is that we can offer some adjustability in how the speaker actually presents the sound. So if you move the speakers closer to a wall, you're going to have some added bass that will create some boominess in the sound. So we have a filter setting on the back of the speaker that's a wall setting and the same for a corner setting so that we can optimize the sound depending on where you're placing the speaker. So we also have a balance setting, so we can make the sound a little bit darker or a little bit brighter, again, depending on your preference in your actual room. So in the active systems, there's a lot of things you can do that you couldn't do in a passive system, such as time alignment between the drivers can be done very precisely. The way we do the crossovers is relatively unique. It's actually relatively shallow crossovers, but it's complex filters. In a passive speaker, you would have relatively simple electronic filters. In the digital speaker, we can create different slopes on different stages of the roll-off to perfectly match the face between the drivers. And those are things that would be very complicated to do in the analog world that we can now do in a digital crossover. So even though this is a speaker that makes it very convenient to have a hi-fi system, it actually also provides you with a better performance than you would in a traditional system. So our approach to this speaker is also that when you move up to this price level, maybe it's not the right place to have the streamer inside the speaker. So what we did was actually a more simple monitor, uh, but there's no preamp stage in here. So there's no streaming, there's not even a volume control. So you need to connect it to some source with a volume control that can be analog or digital, uh, but there needs to be a volume control in the source. This is the Confidence 20A a Dynaudio minimalist speaker? I would say so, yes. We've taken the passive Confidence 20 and we've changed the least amount of possible things, so cut away all of the noise to make a minimalistic and appealing Dynaudio product.
Starting out, I knew that the active version would be better than the passive, but I was quite surprised to which extent it does it. That just kind of blows your socks off. It sounds like a much bigger speaker than it is, and it still sounds natural. You know, it's, it's not just about delivering a lot of sound into your room, but it's also, you know, does it sound right? Does it give you the emotion of the music that you really wanted? And I think this speaker does that in a much better way than you expect when you're looking at it.